people would follow Tom. I really do. Of course, his talk of restoring the civilization is bullshit, but I can't even say I hate him, honestly. Klim with his atrocities, on the other hand. Still, Klim's not in charge. Tom is. And be he the savior and Buddha in one person, I still could never agree with him. Still manning the gate? Give me a break! Yes, sir! It's me! Well, open up if that's the case! Yes, Captain, sir! Opening up! I'm really happy to see you back, Captain, sir! Me too. Me too. Sam, before we arrive, I'd like to ask you to hear me out. You're a good guy. Honest? Nice. You were nice the moment we met. I remember you put your gun down. So I'll be frank with you. I can't let Tom have the soap. I just can't. I already told you how much of a risk it is. So I won't repeat myself, you know it all. I should have taken her out to sea and scuttled her there long ago. But uh, I just couldn't. It would be like murdering my immortal soul. She bears no blame. She served us and kept us alive all these years. But now I have no choice. There is a charge in one of the roads. The guys put it in there in case we got caught. This is the detonator. I will be searched, but you... You are Tom's best pal, his negotiator. So, just press the button when I give you the signal. Don't worry, it won't go nuclear. But no bastard will ever be able to use my ship for anything after that thing goes off. I understand that you'll be losing your ticket home that way. But I think I know you well enough, son. And it seems that you're not ready to pay Tom's price. Still, if I am wrong, just toss the thing and be done with it. All I'm asking is, give it a thought, okay? I have nobody else to rely on, Sam. Thank you for your trust, Ed. I won't let you down. Not so fast. First, your iron. And the pockets out, too. What the hell's going on here? Stop it! Mmm, I see you have new people. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, Comrade Captain. 
I'm so glad so to see you. So am I, son. I'm very sorry, but you can't keep the weapons. I'll have to search you, too. It's all right, I understand. How are you? Get married yet? <laughs> Not yet, Comrade Captain. No time for that. Too busy here. You're doing well, Vitya. I always knew you'd go far. We gotta search this one too. No need. Sam is with us. Glad you're here, Sam. Well, hello there, Cap. How long has it been? Huh? Hello there yourself, Tom. Not long enough, I think. <laughs> really? Well, then again, maybe you're right. Another year out there, fresh air and all that, could have convinced you to agree to command this sub under my flag. Ha! <laughs> fresh air? It always felt stuffy out there, you know. Well, could it be a heart problem? With your age, you know. Ah, uh, no. It's just that you were around all the time. <laughs> I'll feel better too, sailing the high seas away from you. What's that noise out there? Everyone on board, you're completely surrounded. Surrender and come out with your hands above your head. Clint, what is the meaning of this? I'm one step ahead of you, that's what it means. Did you think I had no idea you were going to get rid of me? Do I look blind for you or dumb? No, at the moment you look like a dog that's gone rabid and needs to be put down. <laughs> Tom, I used to respect you, but just listen to yourself. The true shining city on a hill won't have to use it. Bullshit! You're gonna keep all the world at the point of a nuclear gun and you come out all clear. Ain't happening! Somebody's gonna give a shit about your threat if you don't even shoot once. I, on the other hand, already have a couple of targets in mind. Backstabbing cocksucker! I hate to say I told you so. And I hate to admit that you were right. What do you say to us forgetting our differences until we solve this problem? A truce? A truce. Great. Then she's in your hands. Can you take her to sea? Not until the dock gate is open. The control room is definitely in Flynn's hands now, so we're stuck. How many men do we have? Barely enough to hold them at bay. And even that, only until we run out of ammo. There's dozens of them. Tom, I have a plan. You keep him distracted while I sneak out and open that gate. All alone? With the numbers they have, our only chance is not getting noticed. Oh, you're right. But we'll have to mount a diversion to make sure you do sneak out. Yes, boss. Let's do this before it gets even worse. Sam, we'll keep them busy, but still, be careful out there. Sam, wait for our signal. Roger that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks.
time in the middle. Like 
your people's ability to stop me! Yes, I did. And it will cost us. But first, I will have you dealt with. Let the boggling lose! When they're done with the forest, bring me his skull! The new to the large tree! Ashtray. <sighs> so tacky.
What was it anyway? Had a shot. I did. Still see.
Oh, Clem, you are one tough bastard. like a criminal. Where I come from, the mutineers hang. I'm in the tower. Situation under control. Sam, they're cutting through the hatch. Get that gate before we're done for. Order your people to stand down. Screw you, America! Surprise, motherfucker! Motherfucker! He'll rip you apart! Sorry, Ed, but I couldn't do it.
I was an alien in Moscow. And even more so over here, where I had no friends. Tom offered me his hand. So what if that hand could push the button? Another nuclear war won't happen. The old world is already dead. A few more wounds on a corpse. What difference does that make? I don't think any price would be too high for a ticket home. Especially since I'm not the one footing the bill. My hope to see Dad is all I have left. All I've been dreaming of. All these years.